feuding in the fashion industry is more than just catfights. Sometimes it's subtweets and brown nosing on Instagram. Here are a few super famous models who could simply never get along. Tyra Banks and Naomi Campbell's feud is as legendary as the models themselves. According to Banks, it all began in 1991, when she arrived in Paris as a newbie and not only scored magazine covers, but landed a historic 25 runway shows. Then the comparison started. Banks told Scavlin in 2016, I did really well really fast, but then the industry was saying, oh, look out Naomi Campbell, here comes Tyra Banks. Apparently, Campbell didn't appreciate that and turned on Banks. To this day, I'm very scared of her. I don't want to go too deep into the past, but it was it was very difficult. Like some of the lowest times of, of my life, I'm um, dealing with that. Speaking with the Wall Street Journal in 2019, Banks stated, I was going home at night crying my eyes out because a woman that I was looking up to seemed like she just didn't want me to be there and was doing everything in her power to make me go away. They didn't speak for over a decade until they reunited on Banks' talk show in 2005 to hash things out. Banks accused Campbell of trying to sabotage her career and calling her names. Campbell said she remembered their interactions differently and flat out denied some claims, but in the end, she apologized. Even so, it seems their feud wasn't squashed. Per Page Six in 2020, Campbell shared a The Things article titled, Here's Why Fans Are Starting to Think Tyra Banks Is the Real Mean Girl, Not Naomi Campbell. Elle McPherson was everywhere in the 90s, and she was simply known as The Body. The moniker got its start when McPherson landed on the cover of Time in the 80s, and the publication gave her that nickname. She then fully embraced the title, even launching a line of intimates called The Body. Unsurprisingly, when Heidi Klum suddenly started using the nickname, McPherson wasn't impressed and even considered taking legal action. It all started in a 2006 Victoria's Secret ad starring Klum. When I got into this business, they called me The Body. She later argued it wasn't her doing. According to the Daily Mail, Klum told Harper's Bazaar Australia, "'It's not like I called myself the body. It wasn't like, L. I'm taking over this title.'" Even so, McPherson's spokesperson told New York Daily News, "'We were initially flabbergasted. In terms of public record, that name belongs to L." Adding fuel to the feud was a 2014 decision by lingerie brand Bendon to replace longtime creative director McPherson with Klum. As the latter told Harper's Bazaar Australia, she was merely offered the job, not actively trying to get McPherson. Yet again, McPherson wasn't buying it. She quipped to The Telegraph, "'Why would I be angry? That they took my clothes and ripped out the labels and put somebody else's in?' In 1992, 17-year-old Kate Moss landed a Calvin Klein ad campaign to help catapult her into the limelight. In one of the images, shared by Mirror, the future supermodel posed topless alongside a shirtless Mark Wahlberg. And while the snaps were a hit, things were tough behind the scenes. Moss said, "'I was such a nervous wreck. At the time, he was such a dickhead. He wasn't very nice.'" Even Calvin Klein admitted, "'Oh my God, Mark and Kate couldn't stand each other.'" At the time, Wahlberg wasn't exactly keen on playing nice in the public eye either. After they worked together, he took a dig at Moss's appearance, telling Nuts magazine, "'She kind of looked like my nephew.'" Cut to 2020, when he insisted to The Guardian that there was never a feud between them, but did vaguely admit, "'I think I was probably a little rough around the edges.'" And he was right. Moss told Vanity Fair in 2012 she still regrets doing the shoot. She confessed, "'I had a nervous breakdown when I was 17 or 18, when I had to go and work with Marky Mark and her Brits. I felt really bad about straddling this buff guy. I couldn't get out of bed for two weeks.'" She later told BBC's Desert Island Discs in 2022 that she has no good memories of that project, noting that she didn't feel confident. She said, "...he was very macho, and it was all about him." The best protection against AIDS is to keep the Calvins on. Now that could definitely come between me and my Calvins. Back in 2016, Rebecca Romaine told Entertainment Tonight that she's not a fan of social media celebrities, like Kendall Jenner and Gigi Hadid, being booked as models. She said, "...no one has proven yet that numbers of followers translates to revenue, so it is frustrating. They are not true supermodels." She then turned on Vogue and other publications for fueling the shift, saying, "...I have been disappointed that fashion magazines have been supporting this trend of social media stars to set our style standards." Those bold comments sent Gigi Hadid's mom, Yolanda Hadid, into protective mama mode. Taking to Twitter, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star clapped back at Romaine, writing, "...kind, hardworking, and they accomplished more at half your age in the fashion industry." Instead of apologizing, Romaine blamed the outlet for misrepresenting her. She told People magazine, "...I just couldn't believe that she got so involved. Her daughter's names never came into the original conversation. I was speaking purely about how fashion shouldn't be following social media. Fashion should be leading the way." Romaine also took to Twitter to message Jenner and Hadid directly. Calling the story clickbait, she wrote, "...never talked smack about you. Both amazing and beautiful." 
Rebecca Romaine's controversial comments may have upset Yolanda Hadid, but they did get support from one supermodel, Stephanie Seymour. When Vanity Fair asked Seymour whether she agreed that influencers shouldn't be considered supermodels, she mused, "...they are completely different than we were. Kendall and Gigi are beautiful girls, and I support all of them, but they need their own title." Her suggestion? "...bitches of the moment." Jenner wasn't impressed by the joke. Taking to her app via E! News, the former reality star fired back at Seymour. She noted that she used to look up to Seymour as a model and said, "...no one is trying to steal Stephanie Seymour's thing or trying to be her. When I'm older, I'm going to be so nice to anyone who's trying to do the same thing as me. That's the classy way to behave." Seymour then walked her comments back a bit. On Instagram, she argued that her comments had been playful and insisted, "...there were no names mentioned and no ill intent involved. A supermodel is a supermodel. I respect and admire all these women in my industry, in particular Gigi Hadid and Kendall Jenner." After America's Next Top Model made its way to Hulu, Tyra Banks' more questionable behavior in those old episodes came under fire. And according to Janice Dickinson's account, she wasn't just inconsiderate towards contestants. As Dickinson told Philmon following her exit, Banks was apparently rude to her on a regular basis during her four-season stint on the series. She also claimed CoverGirl had the final say in who won each season. Years later, Dickinson gave another interview about ANTM. On a 2015 episode of Oprah, Where Are They Now?, she apologized for her prior remarks about Banks. I've said some pretty bad things about her in the past because I had been fired, and I was, I was very hurt that I had been fired, and so I acted out. It seems the water wasn't totally under the bridge. On a 2021 episode of Behind the Velvet Rope with David Yontef podcast, she said, "...sitting next to Tyra for hours and hours can be daunting because she didn't really like me." Dickinson did appear to acknowledge that she dished it out a bit too, noting that she didn't see Banks as her boss, but went on to claim that the series host and EP simply doesn't get along with other women in general. The 90s was the golden age of supermodels. There were huge names taking the industry by storm. Think Cindy Crawford, Christy Turlington, Claudia Schiffer, and two of the biggest were Kristen McMenemy and Linda Evangelista. However, despite all that star power, Donatella Versace told Love magazine in 2010, "...it was a time when designers were afraid of models with fame." According to her, there was a question of whether or not the designs would be overshadowed, but she was ready to embrace the star power. As she put it, "...fame on fame means more fame." Johnny Versace was on board, and as Donatella told the outlet, she relished in the backstage drama between the supermodels. McManamy and Evangelista were especially prone to catfights, and Donatella was often asked to referee, which she did gladly. She told Love, between Kristen and Linda, it was like watching a movie that never ends. The legendary designer remembered one spat in particular where the two supermodels apparently butted heads over the hair on their heads. Donatella shared, "...Kristen had arrived with black roots and blonde hair, and Linda arrived with black roots and blonde hair, and both of them went mad, both saying they were first. When Paulina Poroskova was tapped to replace Twiggy on America's Next Top Model in 2007, she couldn't have imagined she'd be dropped just a year later. Poroskova herself broke the news on The Late Late Show. Because I was fired by America's Next Top Model no on my way. birthday. Wow, well, yes. welcome to the show. did well. She continued, "...I wasn't aware of my ego until I was told by the producers that I have an ego problem." The supermodel then told Access Hollywood that she had butted heads with Banks over punctuality. She lamented, "...I must admit I was having a little bit of an issue with Tyra being late for every judging." What's more, Poroskova also claimed that Banks never once spoke to her. As for Banks, she responded with an official statement, saying per the cut that it simply came down to budget cuts. She elaborated, "...we've had to make significant cuts in every area of the production, and unfortunately, Paulina was a casualty of these cuts. The pair eventually made up when they posed together at a 2019 Sports Illustrated party. Poroskova shared the snap on her Instagram and praised Banks for how she handled their onset feud. She wrote, "...while I was happily to anyone who'd listen, she kept her cool and didn't stoop to my level. Thanks for the lesson, Tyra. Way to put the awe in model."